And they said nobody would remember Carl. And yet, here I am, talking about Carl. Again, this time more directly. He must be thrilled. But in all seriousness, gentlemen, I did want to address some of the content of that nobody will remember Carl video in the nitty-gritty and detail. It is true that I made a video with Carl spelled with a K in the title, but that video was a video about mostly abstraction, and I've been wanting to make a video of that sort for quite some time, and it loosely tied into the case of Carl. But it didn't really address some of the issues that were brought up in that video. I'm not generally a fan of response videos, so let's not frame this as a response. But let's take the time, this time around, to look at some of the details of Carl's case. Carl is spelled with a C as opposed to a K. The premise and conclusion of the video presented about Carl is that he whiled away his time in an inappropriate way and that had he married a woman, that woman would have held things in check for him. He would have maintained his health and perhaps lived somewhat longer and not have lived as claustrophobic or cluttered a life as he appeared to be. All well and good, but if we actually look at the life of Carl, at least as it's been presented to us, the audience, we can glean a few things. Number one, Carl in general was not terribly good, based on limited information we've received, at maintaining human relationships. And we'll come to that later. So whether it be friends or relationships with women or take your pick, nothing is mentioned of family, that is relatives, he wasn't very good at that. He had pursued a business with obsession, but had run into the vicissitudes of life and some misfortune, and he ended up losing a lot of money and at least partly failing. And I see certain patterns and overlap here. Now, I know this video originally was intended to offer some foreshadowing of what might happen if you don't marry. That's the intention, I believe. But I think there's a lot more to be taken from the video than just that. So let's focus on the main thrust of the argument that Carl should have gotten married and that had he had been married, his life would have had a different outcome more positive, better, healthier, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, the first glaring issue here, of course, is assuming that he had pursued the same business interests that he had been doing and done so in like manner. I failed to see on that point specifically how a wife would have helped him. Let's say he had been married prior to that, which is at least implied or suggested in the video. Well, in that case, I think his marriage would have been in severe trouble. You see, something people don't like to talk about is that the way women view men is extremely evaluative. Women evaluate men. They judge men. Women are not men's friends. Despite the pretenses thereof, they are there to evaluate, judge, and then cast the final judgment. Because every man they encounter, barring relatives, of course, is a potential mate or suitor, in theory at least, in theory. What do we know about women? Women like having resources. They like status. And Carl, with his failed business, his misfortune, might have looked at the time like a good prospect with his ambitions, with the fortune he had been building, but in this hypothetical we're talking about where he had gotten married prior to his business failure, his business fails, and what is the likelihood that his judging, evaluating wife would have stuck with him through thick and thin? Remember, this is not even a time, even in the 90s, when in fact divorce rates in the U.S. were even higher than they are now, when women were exactly sticking with their husbands through thick and thin through difficult times. Quite the opposite. And we also know that human beings in general are only as loyal as their options. And specifically, when we look at divorce rates globally, the divorce rates tend to be lower in rural areas where women are dependent on their spouses and much, much higher in urban areas where women can earn their own money and have the potential availability of other male partners. You could say it might have gone 50-50 here. Who knows? 
But given the evaluating, judging nature of women with respects to men, I don't think it's very likely she would have just stuck around for the sake of it. Because as we know, based on the information in the video, Carl never managed to, in fact, reclaim a lot of the fortune that he had lost. And so what any potential wife might have seen at the time would be declining prospects, poor prospects. And I think there's a very good possibility, in fact, much more likely than the opposite, that any potential wife would have bailed on him. And we know, as a rule, that Carl was not a good prospect, and I don't think many women would have been satisfied with his business failure or what the future might have portended after that failure. But let's just say for the sake of argument that this potential wife had stuck around anyway. Well, that's also a mixed bag. One of the things people never talk about, because they like talking about the good aspects of marriage, is that there are plenty of older couples that are living lives of misery that simply tolerate each other. And they've developed what can only be described as a sort of existential codependency, but it's not particularly healthy. You've seen these couples, by the way. They don't really get along. And frankly speaking, to the extent that they actually like each other, it's more, again, this existential codependency and not general fondness. Now, I'm not saying that opposite examples don't exist, but these days they're far and few between. And assuming his marriage had been rocky, well, yeah, that's a distinct possibility that he would have ended up in just such a marriage with many of the similar outcomes and unfortunate results that he experienced living a lonely, solitary life. Now, I will grant credence the possibility that he might have married an angel who would have stuck with him through thick and thin and all the travails and tribulations of the world. It's possible, but how likely is that? How likely is it in today's atmosphere, particularly in the United States, where both the story is told and Carl had lived, that you're going to find a woman, a female, of that type of character, of that disposition? Extremely unlikely. Much more likely is the case that you would find a female who fits more into the spectrum I was describing prior to that. Not some woman who's operating off of abstract principles of sticking with your man no matter what, but a woman who had seen the potential of Carl and then no longer saw the potential of Carl and then skedaddled, skadoodled out of there. Now, I'm not saying it's not possible he could have ended up with some unicorn-esque type of female. It's just very, very unlikely. However, the way the video is framed is that it presents that as the more likely scenario. Some woman that would have stuck through his business failure and stuck with him the whole time, though the reason for her loyalty and her devotion is never explained, this hypothetical woman. And I just don't think that's the likely scenario. I think there are other lessons to be drawn from Carl's passing. It's not that nobody will remember Carl, because I addressed the issue of human memory in my prior video about Carl, although it wasn't really about Carl, now was it? It's much more about the mistakes he made that are readily discernible as being such. What do I mean by that? I mean that to say that the reason his life ended up that way was because he simply didn't get married and that a wife would have kept him grounded and prevented him from becoming obese and the hoarding and all that other jazz. It's all well-wishing, really. There's no really good evidence to suggest that's the case. We can only speculate. And if we do speculate, I think it's very likely it would have gone the opposite direction, that she would have bailed after his business had failed and that she would not have stuck around for the duration of the marriage. The premise baked into the video is that marriage probably would have saved Carl. As I've repeatedly mentioned, there's no guarantee of that. In fact, speculation and deductive and inductive reasoning suggests quite the opposite. But there is a lesson to be learned from Carl's life. I don't think it has anything to do with marriage. It has to do with the importance of human relationships. That is something that I will sign on the dotted line to. Human relationships are very important. Notice how I'm not saying relationships with women, or marriage, or girlfriends, or dating. Human relationships. Because, as I've talked about many times, particularly in recent months, what I find astonishing time and again is that everyone who talks about these things, all they talk about is women. 
men and women. Now, I get why that's the case. It's the eternal question, right? Did the guy get the girl or not? But there are other human relationships. There are familial relationships, and there are actual friendships. But what you get when you listen to people like this gentleman or other people whose name shall not be named is that male friendship doesn't mean a whole lot or other relationships outside of marriage are not that important. They never talk about them. And I think the issue with Carl was much less so the case that he didn't get married and therefore he was condemned to a life of misery, degradation, decay, and death, but rather he made no effort to maintain human relationships based on the little evidence we have. He had no friends to speak of. And he didn't assign value to the friends he might have had in his life. Instead, he narrow-mindedly pursued something which ultimately failed, at least in large measure, and never really thought of anything else. So the lesson to be learned here is that human relationships are important. And yes, for some people, I guess, marriage could be important. But it's by no means the only relationship out there. As I've said many times, for me, my friends are the most important people in the world. And whether or not you have that same attitude or mentality, that will be a byproduct of your own psychological disposition and your own choice. But Carl isolated himself from the world completely, and sure, that was probably a major contributing factor. Not a lack of wife, but a lack of life. Which, by the way, was the major message of the other video where I loosely talked about Carl. That is, we only have this life to live, and the things that matter are the things that matter to us in the here and now. And let's be honest, human relationships are the things that keep us tethered to this life. Interested, they tend to keep us going. Good friends are not evaluating you and judging you as would a woman. They're much more likely to support you when the going gets tough, and also much more likely not to condemn you when the going gets tough. And so the lesson I can draw from Carl's life is not that he should have gotten married because a wife would have prevented all of that stuff, but rather the observation that I've made time and again that human relationships are important. Not just dating, not just marriage, not spending your whole life obsessed with women, because let's be honest, that's what people do these days, but friendship, friendship. If you read, as I mentioned in an earlier video, Fair Thee Well, Friend, some of the ancient literature, it's filled with these types of very strong, powerful male friendships. Things you never hear about these days. And why? Gynocentrism much? Yes, I think so, among other reasons. So if you want to learn something from Carl's life, learn this. Human relationships keep us tethered to this life. And by relationship, I don't just mean female relationships. Anyway, that's what we can glean from Carl's life. This was my post-mortem of what I thought about Carl. As always, may the gods watch over you, and I will check you out later. I'll be does you. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you enjoy my content please consider making a donation or becoming a patron. Thanks for watching.